Too many people think they should be stretching instead of strengthening in order to get pain relief. Well, I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong. So here's how stretching works, is it provides short-term pain relief. How does it do it? You are placing tension on a muscle. So you are trying to lengthen that muscle over time. And by lengthening the tissue, you are breaking down some muscle fibers, okay? And there is a little bit of muscle building along with it because those fibers will break down and then repair it themselves. However, you will not get the same amount as you will get from strength training. Also, stretching takes a really long time for you to make those length changes. When we look at the research, you have to stretch for one position or one muscle group, two minutes for five to 10 repetitions, and you won't see any changes for several months. So it's not something that happens very quickly. It's something you have to stay at. If you think about gymnasts, they spent the whole first part of their life stretching in order to get mobile and then maintain some mobility. But if they stop stretching, they lose it. So stretching is not an effective way to decrease pain in any way at all. As opposed to stretching, strengthening is way more beneficial. So when we look at the research and the different articles that we have studying this, we find that it provides much longer term relief. And it's a better bang for your buck. So instead of having to stretch to improve mobility and it takes several months and you're stretching for hours every day trying to get that little bit of extra muscle length, with this you can get short term relief very quickly and then it can translate into long term relief over time. One of the other differences between stretching and strengthening is stretching only lengthens the tissue. Strengthening will increase the muscle size and girth of the tissue. So in and of itself, it will make that muscle bigger. Stretching just makes you more mobile. So it may increase some of those muscle fibers, but to a very small extent compared to actually strengthening the tissue itself. And then lastly, strengthening, it builds resilience. And I think this is probably the key point is when you are stronger, your joints, your ligaments, your nerves, your tendons are all much more well supported. And that's extremely important and a key point in the strengthening component of this that you do not get with stretching. If anything, stretching improves your mobility, but you lose some strength and stability when you increase the length of a muscle. And that loss can be detrimental and keep you in a pain cycle longer and longer and longer. So one practical example of this is, let's say you strained your hamstring, okay? The way we treat a strained hamstring is some people might think, oh, I need to stretch it, I need to stretch it, I need to stretch it. If a hamstring was strained, you likely overstretched it to cause the problem. So what we last thing we want to do is actually go in there and overstretch it some more, right? So what we can do instead is we can strengthen that hamstring, we can load it, we can make it more resilient, and then we can make it be able to tolerate more load before it becomes painful. Because what happens after you strain or overstretch something? It becomes weak and it hurts. So we can reverse that by making it stronger and making it more resilient.